India is hoping to become the fourth country to touch down on the moon later today. If their craft lands successfully, it will be the first to land near the lunar South Pole. And the South Pole of the moon is particularly interesting because of the possibility that ice could be there. Well, to talk us through the significance of this moon landing, I'm joined now by Dr. Francisco Diego, senior, senior teaching fellow at, of astrophysics at the University College London. Uh, morning to you. Uh, at risk Good of asking morning, a, a silly question, how difficult is a landing like this? It is very challenging. Um, one of the things they are trying to avoid is to lift a lot of dust from the lunar surface to avoid uh, covering the spacecraft with dust. So they are going to stop the engines and just free fall the last few meters on the on the surface. And um, all this is happening right now. I mean, the landing is in about 12, 12 hours, something like that. And uh, it's going to be very challenging. It's going to be, um, uh, it has to reduce the speed from uh, thousands of kilometers per hour to, to a few meters per, per second. I mean, very, very slow, as we see now in the pictures, and then land very softly. And an hour later, this will happen. The deployment of the lunar uh, rover that is now rolling down the, the ramp there. As you can see here, for example, the solar panels are, are almost vertical because the sun is almost in the horizon in this part of the, of the moon, which is near the South Pole. Not exactly the South Pole. It's about 600 kilometers from the South Pole. Still on the side that we can see from, from this side is uh, one of my favorite craters. There is the crater Clavius. And then the landing site is just south of the crater, crater clave, just towards the, the south part of the moon. Very, very interesting, very challenging. What's this going to mean for India going forward? Um, great achievement of a nation that has the, their own technology. They have producing their own technology, their own uh, nuclear power, their own uh, spacecraft, very powerful rockets in this case to launch this spacecraft that far. And very clever we launch it with very little fuel, using the gravity assist from the Earth to increase the speed first, and then the gravity assist to the Moon to decrease the speed as, uh, as it reaches orbit around the Moon. Very clever and very cheap. I mean, we are talking about uh, just over $100 million for the whole mission, which is extremely, extremely valuable. It is interesting to see countries like India developing the technology, because now we are getting a multi a player kind of exploration of the of the uh, of the solar system, say so the moon in this case, which is claiming is is calling for an international collaboration, a kind of global, if you like, space agency that will regulate all these things. I need to be regulated with so many players, but this is very important because the South Pole of the Moon, uh, India itself, the the Chandrayaan one detected a lot of a lot of water on the ground, frozen water. And this is the reason to go to the South Pole, because that will be the area where the first uh, human, proper human settlements will happen in the near future. 